friends. So we have a special surprise today. We have a real live drummer in the Craig house. This is Mr. Craig, my husband. Say hi, Mr. Craig. Hi, Mr. Craig. Okay. All right. And he's hilarious. So he's agreed to show you some of the drums that we have at our house so that you get kind of an up close view of some of the percussion instruments. So Mr. Craig, take it away. All right. Hi, boys and girls. This is, this first drum is called a pod logo. And it's weird because it starts with a K. And it has very, very cool designs on it. And I'm gonna tell you how these are tuned because they, they each drum needs to be tuned. And what you do, like your, your two bonos in your classroom, they have metal screws that go in. Those are called lugs and you tighten them. These don't have them. So what they have on this drum, these are wooden pegs. There's no metal on this drum. And what you do to make the drum go higher, you actually pound in these wooden pegs and then this gets tighter because it's going down the head gets tighter. So this is how, this is what this sounds like. Kind of a mellow drum. You have a low sound. And then, um, Basically, if you want to speak over the other drums, and yes, I'm using languages like um, like talking, so there's talking and drumming. If you want to get high, you have to do a slap sound. And it's not hitting necessarily harder. It's hitting differently. And if you do this one trick, you put your elbow here, you can make the pitch rise. So you can get a lot of sounds from just one drum. Next drum. This is called a djembe. Okay. This is a pan logo that starts with a K. This is a djembe that starts with a D. D-J-E-M-B-E. -E. Now, they call this a goblet-shaped drum because it looks like a goblet. This is goat skin here, and this sounds a lot different than that. You have the low sound. And that's mine, isn't it, boys and girls? Do you see the shamrock from Finding Our Shamrocks before spring break? Yes. I have one too, <laughs> but the, the head is broke. So anyway, this is a djembe. You have the lows. Then you have the highs on the edge, just like your tubanos, but I'm really not hitting that hard, and it really, really goes through all the other music that would be going on. So you play different rhythms like that. Great drum. Now, this is called a cajon. And many of you guys, if you speak Spanish, you know that cajon is the, the word for drawer or possibly a box because this is a box. And I know sometimes people say, well, caja. Anyway, this is a cajon. And they say it comes from Peru. Basically, people um, didn't have drums, they would, they would play on crates at the shipyards, whatever they could find. And you have a bass, and this sounds kind of like a drum set, which is behind me, in a box. Do not call it a Cajun, like I first did. Cajon. You have the bass, and then you have a snare sound. And if you, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it, um, there is a snare on the on the underside of this um, edge of the drum. Let me see if you can. I don't know if it's going to pick it up or not. But you can move it. You can put it here. You can put it here. You can put it here. Many um, many of these you sit down on to play. Um, this is a special one, Mrs. Craig bought Mr. Craig because maybe Mr. Craig complained about his back sometime. I don't know, I forget the story. But anyway, you got a bass, then you got the snare. So you can do beats. Or you can almost make a 
it sound like, well, you can. You can make it sound like a marching band. drum set. Bear with us, we're going to move to the drum set so you can see better. First rule of drum set. Don't touch my drum set, just kidding. So, you have different drums. You have the bass. I'm hitting that with my foot. There is a foot pedal. When I put it on it looks like this, the foot pedal. When I go like this with my foot, it has a beater that hits here. So the whole idea of the drum set is it frees up. It frees up your hands and your feet so you can play a lot of different rhythms at, at once. I was mentioning the snare on the cajon. This is a snare drum. That is called a snare. And if I hum into it, it'll make a weird sound because this, the head is vibrating. All this is about, it's science, it's, it's vibrations. So if I have the snare off or down, it sounds like this, possibly like a timbale. If I use this lever and I tighten it, that's the classic snare drum sound. So, I mentioned marching bands before. And what you do when you begin to be a, 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 a drummer, just like if you're playing violin and you do scales, ba -da 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 on in drumming, you have to do what we call rudiments. This is a flam, I'm hitting two of the sounds. And then you do double stroke rolls, which is right, right, left, left. And then you put them together, and that's how you can play marching band music. Ooh, these are called cymbals. So you have a bass drum, a snare drum, you have toms. Or symbols. Tom one. And since I have this here on on here in close, this is some gel, and this is just literally painter's tape. I put it on there so the drum doesn't vibrate more, so it doesn't ring. That's all that is. And this is called the floor tom because it's on the floor. And then you have a crash symbol. And then you, this one is called a ride. And then you have this neat symbol. It's actually two symbols. It's called a hi hat. I am actually controlling that, not through magic, not like this. It is with my foot. Trust me, it's, it's another pedal. So if I have it down, it sounds like this. If I have it apart, it sounds like this. So, you can play, just playing around with a hi-hat, you could go. So, if you hear, boys and girls, if you hear a rhythm like that, or like this, it's, it has to be jazz. So what you would do is, you get this going, and your, your job is to keep the band together. You just keep that going. Alright, so, and then you can do, I don't know, you can do disco. 
or just rock and roll. And when you want to start playing heard. rock and roll, you can go one, two, three, four, that's it. Your bass drum is going to hit on one, this is going to hit on three. Literally, this is my first drum set lesson I give to anyone. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then you go from there and then you do this. Hear the hi-hat? from around the world quickly and then you'll see how cool it is to be able to do a lot of different things with your hands and your feet so if you go to Brazil and people are marching in the carnival they have things like this floor times but they're not on the floor they call them certos and they're going like this they have one mallet and they put pressure on it to get the sound then they take it off But if I do this and dig into it like this, you kind of get that sound. And then you add the bass and the hi-hat. They call it the heartbeat. Why? It sounds like your heart. And then I still have one more hand so I can play the snare drum part. So the snare drum part goes like this. something called clave and some of you parents know what I'm talking about um, you could have the three two clave three and then two or you can have that one two three one two three the two three clave I'm gonna try to do that with my foot so it should go if everything goes well and then I can add a snare part so and then I just got, I got to put it all together. Here we go. So, boys and girls, that is the wonderful thing about the drum set through innovations you can get in through different gadgets you can get a lot of different rhythms that it might take usually takes four people if you got everything and it grooves and you practice um, then you can do a lot of different rhythms with just one person and that's why the drum set is so cool and if you have any questions for mrs katie make sure you ask and she will uh, mrs craig <laughs> then she will definitely ask me all right see you soon bye Thank you, Mr. Craig.